Again, I don't know. I mean, the, the occult thing is is in there, but I think um, certainly I'm I'm a big fan of of like German silent films. Uh, was it ever a conscious influence on me? I don't know. It's so many things. So many things you see are an influence without you ever recognizing it as an influence. Uh, so I mean, certainly that you know Alan's description. Is very flattering, and at no point, you know, I, I don't disagree with anything. And if that's, I think that quote is on our website. You know, it, it sums me up as well as, as you know, I could ever sum me up. Uh, but yeah, again, there there are so many things that come in into this stuff. It's 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 never going to be as simple a matter of you know, it's this plus this. You know, mostly I stumbled around through comics looking for things that I thought would be fun or easy to draw. There's so many things I don't want to do, so I avoided a lot of things. Um, but I was evolving this kind of style. Uh, heavy shadows and things like that. Mystery was something I really liked. And uh, a project came along, a Batman, Victorian era Batman book, Bat Batman versus Jack the Ripper. And... Uh, I knew it would be a really hard book to draw because it was going to be you know, doing period research and things like that. But I took on that book because I did. I was developing this kind of style, and I wanted a reputation for doing that kind of work. But I'd never done that kind of work, so I had to do that Batman Jack the Ripper thing to really reinvent myself. So I wasn't just a guy stumbling along through a career doing whatever projects, and. You know, and, and along the way, there were various characters I drew that I was not at all suited to draw. I mean, the, the kind of heavy shadows and things like that. Drawing Superman, it wasn't, it wasn't a, married, a marriage made in heaven, you know. Uh, most characters I drew, people would say, please, get this artist off this book because he's ruining the characters we like. Uh, but when I did that Batman Victorian era thing, it seems to me it was the first time people went, oh, okay, he's... He's not terrible for this. Keep him, keep him drawing Batman or Batman mystery supernatural things. Um, so I, that was the first time I, I took on a project. Um, so I would be known as a certain kind of artist. Um, and then, you know, and it all really culminates that, you know, with, with Hellboy where you finally go to that point where you say, I'm going to make up a book that's entirely made of the things I'm excited about, as opposed to trying to find other jobs and saying, well, it's got a bit that I, I can get excited about. One of the things I miss these days, I see so many artists uh, working in, in, in comic books now, and they, they render things beautifully, but I can't tell who they are. They look like, so much of the stuff looks, I mean, almost all of them can draw better than I can, but I look at their work and I go, I don't, I don't see the person. Whereas Jack stuff, you always saw Jack, and it wasn't just style; it was just, it was the personality he brought to the stuff. He, it was, it, there seems to be a lot of anger. There seems to be a lot of just, just. There's, there's an amazing energy, and 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 Frank, uh, you know, his work has an amazing amount of energy. Uh, and you can, it's not the thing you can fake. You can't just put that on. Either it's there in the person or it's not. Um, some artists are very quiet, but but both yeah, Jack and Frazetta, they just, the stuff explodes. And it's, it's nothing that can be taught. It has to be in the guy. It has to come out. It's got to shoot from his brain down through his arm. And you can't teach it. There's an energy that just is there or isn't there. Eight, 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 eight.
Thank you.